Hey, hey to all my tech-loving friends, it's Sam, your favorite WordPress connoisseur, website developer, and strategist. If this is your first time joining us here, welcome, happy to have you, and if you're a returning tech nerd, welcome back. Now, it's no secret that I love Slack for running my business and team, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create simple, custom emojis that you can use in your Slack channel using Canva. I love Canva. It can be used for so many different things in your business. And in this tutorial, I do recommend that you have a Canva Pro account so that you can create transparent backgrounds and you have access to a fuller suite of elements. You can join Canva Pro by going to samanthamunoz.com slash Canva. That is our company affiliate link. So feel free to use that if you'd like to. But in this tutorial, I am using a custom sized Canva file. I believe I made it 500 by 500 pixels. Yep. And we're just going to create some fun emojis in Canva, and then I'll show you how to go ahead and add them to your Slack channel so you can make your Slack more branded, especially if you use it for some sort of group program in your business. This can be a cool way to make it feel like they're really in your ecosystem and your sphere. So I just found a cool rocket emoji and made that a few seconds ago, but let's go ahead and add a new page to this and delete out my current element. And then I want to think about, okay, so what is my brand? My brand is very silly and whimsical. I love dance parties. I love coffee. So maybe I can find something that kind of resonates with that. So I'm going to search dancing. So you can... <laughs> Oh, I love Canva. See, a lot of these are pro elements, so I can just go ahead and snag one of these and make it into, you know, the correct size. This might be a little hard because, like, imagine that as an emoji, like, not really clear what that is. So I'm going to find something that has a little bit less detail so that I can use it. Um, oh, my gosh. How about this penguin emoji? That's cool. Look at that. I think that'll work. Is that clear? Is that clear enough? Why do I all of a sudden want, like, dancing penguins and avocados? Oh my gosh, dancing giraffe. Actually, I'm kind of here for that. Oh, the size. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and search avocado. I don't know what it is, but I'm feeling avocado-ish. Okay, this is kind of cute. So what I'm going to do is after I've decided, you know, what emoji I want to make, like that'll work. It's, it's still kind of small and the details aren't all there, but it'll work for my purposes. Or I could do this cool line art one. Okay, I have decided. So I found the image. I'm going to make it as big as I possibly can so that it takes up as much space as possible. And you know you may want to resize your your um, design here if it doesn't really fit with you, with the vibe. You know maybe you don't want it to be square. I think square is perfect for emojis, so that's what I'm going to do. So I've got my 500 pixel by 500 pixel design. I'm going to make it into my brand colors. I'm going to go ahead and snag that. So it's in my brand colors, and then now I'm going to go to download and click transparent background. And I only want to download this page, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Click done, and then download. So now it's downloading to my computer. And there's just one other step to add it to Slack. It's so easy. So I'm going to open up my Slack channel. This is our workspace for random stuff. So there's cool recipes in here and all sorts of things that we talk about for our business. Um, but what you can do is you can go over here to message and then you click on emoji. And instead of adding an emoji from here, you click on add emoji and then you can upload your image right here. It's so easy. So I'm going to click upload image and then I will find the image that I just downloaded and upload it here. All right, so here's my image. I'm gonna click on open. It adds it to Slack and then you can give it a name. So this is something you want it to be easy, right? So I might call this like SNC avocado and that'll be the like use case of this emoji. You can also call it something like avocado if that's not taken, which it is. So SMC avocado, it is avocado. And then I'm gonna click save. And now the emoji is added to Slack. So in order to use it, I can just do a colon, type in SMC avocado, and there it is. How cool is that? <laughs> We've got an avocado emoji and you can use it, you know, when you're typing like, OMG, I want to eat this SMC avocado. Nope, not my stars. So fun and so easy. And also your users can find it too under the emoji tab. If they type in SMC, they'll find all of your um, emojis. So that's why I kind of like adding my branding to the top of it so that anyone that's using my Slack channel can find things easily with our SMC brand. Um, again, this can be used for your group programs. This can be used just for facilitating your team and making it a little more fun and branded. Again, anything you can do to kind of create that ecosystem for your clients and customers to make them feel like they're in your space, in your world, especially when it's online, right? We need to kind of create this and manifest like a physical business essentially through online spaces. So this is one way that you can easily do that. And that is how you upload custom emojis to Slack and also how to create them in Canva, which is super cool too. 
If you liked this video, if you thought this was useful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel if you like tech tips, tech news, anything related to running your business well using tech and WordPress. That is what we are here for. I'll see you again soon with another tech tutorial.